Basically, the Astros had a special network that housed their most precious secrets about their players, wow. special statistics, scouting reports, and guys in the Cardinals front office knew about this. They knew some of the passwords that the Astros guys were using because they used to work on their team. So the Cardinals went onto their network, found those passwords, went to the Astros network, used them, went in, and took the data. The question is, how high did it go? And were these lower level guys who were doing it for folks on high who knew about it or were they just freelancing and in deflate gate and spy gate and all these good sports scandals that's always the question how high did it go that was the new york times reporter michael schmidt earlier in morning joe broke the story about an fbi investigation of the st louis cardinals with us now nbc sports bob cost it's not a happy man this morning for good reason no Aww. no bob the, the st louis cardinals are the gold standard for organizations you yeah. know what sell pool holds win the World Series the next mm -hmm. year. One pitcher hurt after another. The organization keeps replenishing itself. Yep. There is really not a close second. Model uh, organization, uh, both in terms of their success and in the way they relate to their fan base, exactly. the way they tap into their history. There's a feel-good vibe around the Cardinals, and it's a that's huge what makes it so shocking. St. Louis. That's what makes it so shocking, isn't it? Yeah, especially if, as Michael Schmidt laid it out, and he has it perfectly, he's the guy who broke the story after all, if it goes higher up the pyramid, it's going to be a big, big deal how likely and very disillusioning. How, how likely do you I think couldn't that begin is? to guess. I couldn't begin to guess, except I would say that in my personal experience, John Moselak, the general manager, and Bill DeWitt, the primary owner, are ethical people. Do they look, are they ruthless competitors in a certain sense? Everyone in sports has to be. What, but so, are they unethical? I, I haven't found them. So today. what's the difference between this and stealing signs? Mm -hmm. Stealing signs is not only low tech, but it's gamesmanship. You you tipped your signs. You somehow we picked. So that you get up. what you deserve. Yeah, that's. On the other hand, if you steal signs with binoculars mm -hmm. or with videotape, that's viewed as beyond the pale. So 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 let me just say, some twenty. Your son or my son would be yep. saying, okay, but. They're using old passwords that the Houston Astros still had there. Like our kids would say, that's yeah. just as stupid you know, as giving away your sign. I'm, I'm not justifying anything. I'm just saying uh -huh. it, it's a new world. And if you're tipping your pitches because you hold the ball in the, in the glove a different way when you throw the curve ball or there's yeah. something slightly different and someone picks up on that, that's kind of on you and good for them. Now, this is, if true, a crime. It's a federal right. crime that's been committed. But your point is correct. Jeff Lunau, who left the Cardinals, viewed a polarizing figure, but viewed as one of the cutting edge people in baseball, taking money ball to the next level. Uh, a very smart guy, you would think he'd cover his tracks better than that and not leave himself vulnerable to this. Mike Bornicle, I, I, am, I don't want anybody at home Aww. to get c confused while they're eating their Cheetos uh, in their basement, in their mother's basement, blogging in their underwear. But the fact of the matter is, these are multi, multi million dollar organizations. And if you have one file that has the most important information about your organization, and you've got somebody that leaves your organization, and you don't change your password, all right, after the investigation's over in St. Louis, somebody needs to be fired in Houston. Well, there's, there's no sport, at least in my estimation, uh, that relies more on what they call sabermetrics than does baseball. And Bob, you should explain because you're more of an expert in it than I am. Not really, but <laughs> we're, we're, but for the sake of this segment, yeah, for the explain, sake of false modesty, ex explain the you know the the, the lockbox, the vault that they got from the Astros. What's contained in it? Well, there's the database, the raw information, and people might say, well, everyone pretty much has access to the same statistics, and they have their own scouts. But then there are paradigms that teams, especially the cutting edge teams, create. So they take this information and they feed it into formulas or algorithms designed to produce a small edge. But in sports, it's often a small edge that makes a difference in a game or winning a championship. It isn't a 50% edge. Lunau himself said if we can gain a 5% edge over time, that's going to make so a lot of difference. So if the Cardinals could, did get this information and used it, how would it help them win games? Well, you might get their scouting report Houston scouting report on your hitters, how they plan to work you. If that 
information made its way to people in uniform and they use it on the field, that'd be one thing. But also, since Lunau has been so successful, both with the Cardinals and with the Astros, in identifying non-major league personnel, high school and college kids that they would draft, knowing what their evaluations are of young players would be important because it might influence your own decisions. That's in theory. We don't know that that happened. It could be that just a couple of guys who kind of meet the profile of Jonah Hill and Moneyball, and there are hundreds of them now because every team has their own analytics department in addition to old school scouts. Uh, if it's just a couple of those guys looking to make mischief and nobody higher up ordered it, knew about it, or benefited from it, then it's a scrape. Hmm. But if it's worse than that, if it goes to the top, it's a double black eye uh, for the Cardinals and for the city of St. Louis because they identify so much of the identity of the town is tied up in that team. All right, Bob Costas, good to have you Thank on you, the Mika. set as always. Thank you. Up next, how serious is the security situation in Afghanistan? Vice News looks at why 10 and 12-year-olds are now fighting to protect their village from the Taliban. We'll be right back.